Yeah, that makes sense. What we're doing is we're going through with a fine tooth comb and just making sure everything's lined up and I'm hitting the right notes and all the, the vocals are doing the same thing at the same time. So what, what we usually do for my music specifically is We'll do three higher octave takes, and then we'll do three lower octave takes, and all six of those are playing at the same time. So it sounds as though it's one voice, and we'll pick a main vocal for each of, so one high, one low, we'll pick a main, and that will be like the main one that you hear and that one is straight down, if, if that makes sense. And then the other two, we pan one on each side so that it just makes it sound really full. And this is not a thing that just we do. Uh, I think the majority of people will stack vocals and um, that's what we're working on. We're making them sound good. Ha! This actually needs to go there. This will be the last time I slip up. That's what it needs to be. I don't know. I'm just happy to be here. Breaking my back to Nice. It'd be nice to just hit the note the first time. The singing is hard, man. They don't talk about that. You just try to do it. But dude, this shit's so cool. Okay. Yours didn't take it. This will be the Yours didn't take it. This will be the last time. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think this song's in the key of C sharp minor, but I don't really think about keys and shit before I write a song. I like play something and then I figure it out later. But uh, this one I thought was in the key of E major, which is the relative major key. Um, but here's the thing. I don't know shit about music theory and all that. I just feel like I could dive into it and like learn and stuff, but I just kind of feel like it gets in the way of being creative for me. So I don't really feel a desire to jump into all that super deeply at this point. Uh, Cause the, the little bit that I have learned, it just gets me thinking too much. And then I start thinking about chord progressions and this fits with that and yada yada. So I don't know, I just kind of play what feels right. And then I go from there. And then I figure out all the wrong notes and shit that I sing along the way and we fix it. And I'm not above admitting that I go through and do that. I mean, everybody does that shit these days. So, that's what we're doing. Piana! Haha, <laughs> nice! So, I know what note to play in the tuner. Tuner, hardly know her, huh? You know what I mean? But we're doing the Lord's work, huh? Just getting it to sound Can't like feel angels. You now. Yeah, 
angelic. Can't feel you. So it needs to be up one. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. We're going on hour four already. Dude, there is no place that time goes by faster than like in the studio. I literally could be here for 16 hours and feel like I was here for 15 minutes. But uh, my ass is asleep, I'll tell you that much. Um, we're doing it. Happily. Bring you my back. Breaking, breaking my back to Yeah, 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 so it all needs to be right there I am calling it a night My brain feels like scrambled freaking eggs after all this But we got a lot done I'm gonna listen to the vocals. I'm gonna listen to how everything sounds and see if it's ready to send off to my buddy in Nashville. He does the mixing and mastering process to get it all ready to go on Spotify and Apple Music, all those fun places. I have had him do a lot of mixing on my songs before. They're out on Spotify already. You just search Taylor Garner. You can listen to my stuff. If you do, that's awesome. I love that. If you don't, that's okay too. I just love doing this shit. I don't claim to be some musical genius or whatever. I just feel what I feel and I like to put it out and put it to music. And that's what I love doing. So I'm gonna keep doing that. 